Welcome to another exciting episode where we will be taking a look into one of the world's most renowned upcoming technologies with the help of our trusty AI guide. Today, we're setting our sights on a revolutionary technique that's shaking the foundations of genetics. CRISPR. CRISPR, or Clustered Regularly Interspace Short Palindromic Repeats, is a gene editing tool, and it's revolutionizing the biological sciences. So, what makes this procedure unique? There are three key components, simplicity, affordability, and precision. This technique is like a molecular pair of scissors capable of slicing through DNA at specific locations, allowing scientists to add, remove, or alter particular genetic sequences. A real-life example. Let's look at the successful experiment conducted by the Oregon Health and Science University in 2017. Researchers used CRISPR to correct a genetic mutation in human embryos that causes hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a common heart disease. This was groundbreaking demonstrating that it could potentially be used to prevent genetic diseases. But there's more to the CRISPR story. This revolutionary tool isn't just limited to health. In agriculture, for instance, it is being used to modify crops, making them more resistant to pests and climate change. Rice, wheat, and potatoes. These staple crops are being optimized for higher yield and robustness, potentially paving the way towards a future of food security. Now let's switch gears a bit and consider something slightly controversial, the concept of designer babies. This term refers to children genetically engineered with desirable traits. While it might sound like science fiction, CRISPR makes this a tangible possibility. Could parents one day opt for children with enhanced intelligence, athletic ability, or even specific physical characteristics? The scientific potential is there but the ethical and societal implications are profound. But CRISPR isn't without its risks and challenges. Off-target effects, where unintended parts of the genome are altered, remain a significant concern. When CRISPR sets out on its mission to modify specific genes, it does so through a system that locates and binds to a distinct segment of the DNA sequence. But here's the issue. DNA sequences can be incredibly similar to each other, leading our gene editing tool to accidentally latch onto the wrong part. These unintentional genetic edits bear profound implications for human health. Think of this scenario. CRISPR unintentionally switches off a gene that's busy suppressing tumor growth. Suddenly, we have a situation where cancer risks could escalate. It's an unsettling thought, but one that's central to understanding the challenges CRISPR faces. There's no doubt that we are on the precipice of a genetic revolution. But as we explore this new frontier, we need to tread thoughtfully, considering the ethical, societal, and health implications. In the grand scheme of things, it isn't just a scientific tool. It's a societal one, poised to redefine our relationship with our own biology. The science of genetics has traditionally been a process of discovery, a decoding of the blueprints written in the twisting ladders of our DNA. But CRISPR flips that narrative. Suddenly, we're not just readers of our genetic code, we're becoming its authors. We can actively rewrite the script of life. Here's a lesser-known example that underscores just how profound this can be. The northern white rhino. With only two females left on Earth, this subspecies is functionally extinct. But CRISPR might hold the key to their resurrection. Scientists are working on using CRISPR, combined with techniques like in vitro fertilization and stem cell technology, to bring these magnificent creatures back from their end. But it doesn't stop at resurrecting extinct species or eradicating diseases. Scientists are even exploring how to use it in the fight against climate change. A new artistry technique emerged from this development, which is called bioartistry. 
This might seem like a significant departure from our medical and cloning discussions, but the world of art often pushes the boundaries of the possible, leading us to question what we think we know. In this way, bio-artists could serve as the vanguard of the CRISPR era. For example, we have Eduardo Cac, who collaborated with a French laboratory to create GFP Bunny a rabbit that glows green under certain light conditions due to the presence of a gene found in jellyfish. This kind of exploration is now becoming possible for more artists as the accessibility of gene editing increases. What if artists could create new organisms as a form of expression, or explore the concept of identity by editing their own genes? Now, moving to a somewhat darker shade of the CRISPR canvas, bioterrorism. As gene editing tools become more accessible and straightforward to use, there is a real threat that they could be used maliciously. What if rogue entities engineered viruses to be more lethal or released genetically modified organisms that had unforeseen and catastrophic impacts on ecosystems? Regulations and oversight will have a critical role to play. We need robust frameworks in place to ensure the responsible use of this technology. But policing the use of gene editing technology isn't straightforward. With the democratization of science and technology, there's a potential for DI, why biohackers operating from their garage labs, beyond the reach of traditional regulation. But the potential isn't just about what we could do, it's also about what we should do. And this is where it gets complicated. The ethics of gene editing are deeply complex. There are concerns about the widening of social inequality, with gene editing potentially becoming a service only the rich can afford. If we can design our babies, who decides what traits are desirable? And who ensures that this powerful technology is not misused? These are the questions that will define the CRISPR era. And as we grapple with these complexities, one thing is clear. The world of genetics is no longer the same. With this developing technology, we have opened a Pandora's box of possibilities. The challenge lies in ensuring that we use this power judiciously, ethically, and for the collective good of humankind. With our current knowledge, we don't know the full implications of editing the genes of living organisms, especially ones that we would release into the environment or consume as food. There are concerns about unintentional side effects, about disrupting ecosystems in ways we don't fully understand yet. It's a precarious balance between the potential benefits and the potential risks. As the story unfolds, there is also the potential for unexpected plot twists. In the world of genetics, there is always more to learn, more surprises hidden in the double helix of our DNA. For instance, recent studies suggest that our bodies might sometimes reject the changes made through CRISPR. In the end, the journey of understanding this, like all scientific journeys, is about exploring the unknown with curiosity, courage, and an open mind. It's not just about changing our world, it's about understanding it better. Thank you for joining us on this exciting exploration of CRISPR with AI to guide us. As always, stay curious, stay safe, and let's continue diving deeper into the mysteries of our world together.